to the title, No Cross, No Crown, you saw it on a, in a church. In Eng- you played at a church in England, right? And it was, it was backstage. It was, the it was a one. decommissioned church turned into an art center or something, right? Yeah, and, and, and most of it had been destroyed in the Second World War, but there was one giant tower in the front of it. Bad Which is the Humpty Dumpty? The Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty. In, er, yeah. in early canon, they had like blew itself out of the tower. That's and the, like, a that. town called Colchester. That's their that's their thing. It's like that's Humpty Dumpty was a big, big ass cannon. Took a great fall. And One of the first great great big ass cannons ever. Yeah, and many more to come. Yeah, but it was like our dressing room in this place. It was killer old, you know, killer. It was like the priests. They had a fridge in there and some other stuff, and, but it was like you could tell and back in the old days, it was like the, what do they call that though? That's shit if I know. <laughs> yeah, the, where the preacher hangs out, you know, before, before he goes the, out. The rectory? Yeah. The rectory. The rectory, rectory yeah. That, that's where they had us chilling for the dressing room. There was these little, these giant stone things and, these, and the, the stained glass were, were not that large. They were fairly small, but they were old. I mean, there was, there was like 500, you know. Like, oh yeah. Yeah. The badass place. And so how did you... I looked up at the damn window and I said, Woody, does that say no cross, no crown? And there was like some poor dude getting, you know, beat down by the Lord and all that stuff. I was like, oh, damn, that's, that's pretty good right there, you know. And how did you take the spirit of that at the time? What did that kind of... Well, we were getting ready, you know, we were kind of doing our thing in, in, in Europe or playing shows. Like we had, you know, just had a little fun energy and just thinking about like, the future and things and you know not putting pressure on it but like I'm gonna write that down and we did and it was very simple and you know there is a degree of art and creativity involved in this stuff it's not all just being angry and pissed off and you know, ripping guitars and shit so that was part of like the process of getting this thing together but it didn't make it easier I think having that idea in our heads so. yeah and so, I mean, is the we idea- weren't writing twelve or fifteen songs just trying to put it on a CD. Yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, you know, obviously we live in a pretty um, politically charged climate right now, and you know, uh, a lot of religious factions going on too. But it sounds like what the title to me, how I'm taking it is, it's you, you don't you need to put that stuff aside, put politics and religion aside. I think there's a degree where it's getting overpowering. You know, I mean, the rest of you guys can comment on that, but I just think it's like, I think we're a little bit out of sync here with what the real deal is. You know, pick somebody up off the ground who cares what the fuck he is or what he is or what his thing is or just, you know, just be there. Yeah. Yeah, what is it, what is it, how do you guys interpret the title? Like, what, is it, what does that mean to you? No cross, no crown. Well, there, there's the, uh, the, the classic, you know, of, of you know, the, the religious aspect where it was it kind of even falls back to where there were, there were reverends that had, that was sort of a mantra to them, you know. Uh, for me, you know, going off on that, it's like, hey, go take a walk in the woods and, and uh, absorb things. <laughs> take a break, man, you know. <laughs> you know, go, you know, stick your hand in the dirt and plant a potato or something. Do something else. Yeah. <laughs> Reed, do you have anything to add? What? You, buddy. Earballs, no work. Now, I, I, uh, when he pointed that out to me when I was at the place, I was like, uh, I mean, I had a lot of the uh, symbolism and a lot of the writing that he's done in particular have had kind of have been ambiguous but had religious themes to them, and it just seemed totally perfect for us. It's like, like, yeah, that's a good one. We, we can go hog wild on that thing. Yeah. I mean, deliverance, I mean, you know, eye for an eye. We like, had lots of different. Right. So, uh, yeah, it just seemed like. And, right and we're not, I'm not, we're not going to stand on soapboxes and try and tell people what to do, but it's, it, it is a, a good venue to write things and not be dated or try to, you know, tell people what to do and how to do it. But it's just. It is good. There's a lot of there's a lot of ammo out there right now, <laughs> you know. And I think the cross and the crown are big things that are making everybody pull apart. And, you know. What would Mike Dean have to say for himself? Uh, well, it's it's evocative, and uh, it's, I'm still uh, 
deciding what it's evoking, but uh, as I say generally, uh, those, those, are, those are power centers that are uh, just signs of like human vanity and overblown oppression. So yeah, I'm all for that crossing that boundary. Yeah. Even though you could, you could probably find a good, you know, a righteous, uh, a righteous uh, version of each of those things. Generally, yeah, absolutely. Generally, absolutely. Gen generally no cross, no crown. <laughs> that's that's kind of where I'm, I'm at. So I like the ring of it, and 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 on the, all the themes of the, of the record are just. They're, they're, they're still just developing. I'm not saying we all become sun gazers and sit on a roof and stare at the sun <laughs> and wait for the UFOs to pull up. I'm not saying that. <laughs>